the idea behind trackmat key effect is it has nothing to do with the green screen but the idea here is you can show one layer through another for example I'm going to show you how you can place a video inside of a text. So what we can do is we're going to make a new sequence from one of the videos. You can use a PA if you want to. I'll use the trackmat MP4 to make a new sequence. Okay. <coughs> this is the video. I'm going to rename the sequence as well. So this is going to be on trackmat uh, key. Here we go, track mat key. Then we'll I mean, add some text on top of it. So we add some big bold text. So I'm going to type in track mat. Okay. So we back to selection tool, go to the effect controls panel to make it nice and big. Could also do with a really bold font. I'm just going to make this one, let's see, semi bold is okay. I'll reduce the tracking to keep it closer together, make it even bigger because we're going to show the video inside of this text. I'll just make it center aligned as well. Let's make it nice and big. Uh, let in even smaller. Here we go. Maybe something like that. This should do. Okay. It doesn't matter what the color text is at this stage, but I'll explain the options as well. Next, we're looking for the track mat key effect. So go to the effects panel, the same key in category, and a track mat key. We're going to show the video through the text. Okay, so we apply in trackmat key effect to the video because we want to show the video for the text. And when you apply the effect to the video or the layer you want to show, in the effect controls panel, you get this composite using, but first we've got this mat here. That's where you choose the layer. I want to show this video through text, which is on V2. So I'm going to choose video two. I will have a video inside the text. It's a video, so you can see it moving. I should actually make this text longer. Here we go. There's a couple of options in here in the track mat key. Composite using mat alpha or mat luma. As you probably know by now, alpha is the opacity, luma is the brightness. If I change it here, it's not doing anything at all in my case. However, if I select the text, if I change the color of the text to be something darker, doesn't matter what the color is, just darker, this will make a difference to Mat Luma. Because Mat Luma is using the brightness levels, if I choose, or if you choose a darker color for your text, your text will be less visible. With Mat Alpha, it's relying on a transparency opacity. So it's only changing if you change the opacity of your text. So you can use the track mat key effect to make anything show, anything show through another layer. It could be shape, it could be anything. I'm just using text as an example here. And of course, the text could be animated as well. So I could select the text. And I could animate it, so I could go to, say, motion, and let's say here I should stop. So I animate the position, but at the beginning I want it to be off the screen. And actually, I want it to be off the screen at the end. So here at the end I want it to be off the screen. This will make the text slide in and show the video inside. For example, but let's say we'll just make it stop. 
here. So it's just sliding in onto the screen. Maybe a bit uh, sooner. So we'll just make it slide in. So we can see the video animating inside the text as well. Text will stop and the video will animate inside. That's how you can use the track mark key effect to show content of one layer, like a video, inside another layer, like text.